You may have heard about a little thing called SteamOS. It's kind of been all over the news. A strange thing about the whole news situation was a lot of people did an expose on SteamOS before Valve even exposed themselves. <laughs> But fear not, I waited until Valve was done with their weird week-long marketing reveal before I recorded this for you guys, so... And if you stay tuned, I'll tell you how you can win some free electronics. You probably already know this, but in a nutshell, SteamOS is designed specifically for gaming in your living room, and it runs on Linux. We'll get to the Linux part later, so let's talk openness now. Good old Gabe Newell is ensuring that this OS promotes open communication and collaboration with hardware manufacturers, and you can hack it if you want. You'll find no gates in the gardens here. Yeah, you see what I did there. And you can keep the features you know and love about Steam, like access to your game library, your friends list, and the cross-platform cloud so you don't lose your saves or progress in a game just because you switch computers. There's a ton of new features with SteamOS that I'm excited about. You can stream games over LAN from any PC right to your TV. There's a household or family mode where you can play games in your household regardless of who owns them. Yeah. And there is an alien-like beacon homing device as their controller. Seriously though, this thing is voodoo magic. It's a completely open, hackable controller that is supposed to play any Steam game imaginable, even the ones that haven't been invented yet. Imagine a world with no thumbsticks, but you have track pads. The front face will have a touch screen like you have on your smartphone, and the entire thing will have a sophisticated haptic feedback in place of the archaic rumble in the controllers that you have now, like this one. I know SteamOS hasn't come out yet, but it's so good to finally see a Linux-based operating system being like truly embraced and not unfairly judged based on hardware and drivers not supporting it. But there's actually quite a bit of gamers that are pretty unhappy about it being Linux-based because of the usual stereotypic reasons like it's too hard to use and it's counterintuitive, but we know otherwise, right? You know what, I'm gonna do an open letter to those people. I don't actually know what an open letter is. I'm gonna challenge those people right here, right now with this logic. So when you have a really resource hungry operating system, you need intensive hardware to compensate for that so it can kind of power through it. So the opposite is true. Using Linux, it's really lightweight, it's super efficient. When you don't have to worry about carrying the OS through, you'll be able to have really intense machines without it being super expensive. Speaking of these steam machines, steam boxes, whatever you want to call them, that has the open mentality too. You have mid-range, really pricey, the possibilities are as an endless as the manufacturers make them. Valve is also allowing 300 people to test out prototypes and their OS, because out of the 6 million current steam users, only 300 of them will be chosen. There can be Either way, by 2014, it probably won't matter what your stance is on the PC versus console debate. If Valve gets this right, they'll create a platform that encourages open sharing and contribution, in turn merging the world of PC and console entirely. But how do I know this? People like the 10-foot experience, and gaming consoles are perfect for this. You can kick back, relax, and frag noobs from the comfort of your couch. I admit, even though I have a monster of a PC, I still bought Skyrim for my ancient 360 because when you get right down to it, even with Microsoft hardware approaching a decade old, with atrocious graphics, it still beats taking an arrow to the knee for hundreds of hours while I'm hunched over my PC monitor. But why now? I seriously feel like if anyone's gonna pull it off, Valve's gonna do it. I mean, the corporation has been giving us blue balls for years. Half-Life? Oh my god! Counter-Strike? Oh my god! A new Half-Life? A new Counter-Strike? Team Fortress Portal Left 4 Dead? Ah! The company is just good at getting people excited. There's nothing wrong with that. I've been in a perpetual state of anxious slash happy ever since I was old enough to hold a crowbar. And that would be creepy if I just walked around as a youngin with a crowbar. I heard that Valve registered the Half-Life 3 trademark in Europe, so you know what that means. So I'm guilty in following Valve's every move like an overly attached girlfriend, especially when it comes to gaming and Linux. And I'm not alone, people just have this weird irrationality when it comes to Valve. I mean, <laughs> the way they announced the SteamOS thing was bizarre. Check this out. They announced the SteamOS controller combo over 48 hour increments and it looked like some kind of sci-fi thriller ad. 
But that doesn't change the fact that at the end of the day, their big announcement was an operating system and a controller with a bunch of fancy features. I don't know if that's competitive when you think of what Microsoft and Sony's packing the punch, new consoles and stuff. So now that we know the entire SteamOS announcement, we can speculate. Does Valve have something bigger in store for us that they're just waiting for a marketing tactic to hook us on before they reveal it? Have like three. <clears throat> Do you think a lightweight open OS is all we really need to elevate the way we game and revolutionize it forever? Let me know what you think in a comment below and share this video with all your equally Valve obsessed friends and we can commiserate together. Thanks for watching OS Alt. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's episode of All Things Open Source. It's my birthday month this month, and I don't usually do anything for it, but it also marks the fourth year that I've been doing this on YouTube with you guys, and we have to give you some presents for that now, don't we? The electronic pros at HH Greg are on a mission with Sharp to give out 60-inch Aquos 1080p LED smart TVs every single day in October. That's some pretty good Halloween candy, but they're sweetening the deal even more with a grand prize of Sharp's new 70-inch Aquos 4K Ultra HD LED TV. And yes, it really is 4K. That's four times 1080p resolution. I'll put all the links you need to know in the description box below. And hey, you never know, maybe you and your friends can all get TVs. And if you play the Endless Blitz game, you get even more chances to win. Don't forget to use that Sharpnado power-up. It's like Sharknado, but with less teeth and more technology.